Let's get it, be close, let's get it. Did you know that you can get the IT experience needed for a six-figure cybersecurity career in just 24 hours? Now you're probably familiar with IT roles being very technical. You think that you need expensive training, years of experience, and a college degree. But what if I told you you didn't need any of that? I know, I know, sounds too good to be true, right? Well, let me tell you that these positions are not only real, but they're often overlooked. That is, until now. If you wanna hear more about these positions and how you can start your cybersecurity career without a degree, certifications, or skills like hacking, then stick around for this rest of this video because I'm gonna break down how to start your six-figure cybersecurity career in the next seven days in 2022. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm about to give you everything in this video and I have nothing to sell. So get your notes, buckle up, and let's get into cyber. Hey, what's up, cyber heroes, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Boyd Clewis, an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help IT guys upgrade their jobs into a six-figure cybersecurity career. If you wanna join me on this journey, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the red bell below so that you're notified whenever I drop new tips, tricks, and strategies to help you take your career to the next level and become a profitable cybersecurity professional. All right, guys, by now you should have your notepad ready and be ready to jump into this video so I can teach you exactly what you need to do to start your cybersecurity career in the next week. And I'm serious, guys, I mean the next week. You need to throw out all of the old ideas that you have about starting your cybersecurity career because I'm about to give you my backward formula that's gonna help you skyrocket to success and avoid years of heartache of paying your dues and living on the help desk. All right, so what we need to do is instead of focusing on the easiest way to get into the field, which is through desktop support and help desk, where those jobs are usually paying 10 to $12 per hour, which is not even a living wage, I'm going to put you in a whole different trajectory. We're going to look into vulnerability management. We're gonna bypass the help desk and we're gonna go straight into cybersecurity. So before we get started in vulnerability management, I'm gonna explain what it is and why it's important. So first of all, let me give you the definition that my good friends at AT&T Cybersecurity put together for vulnerability management so that we can get a level set on what it is and why it's important. All right, cyber heroes, my good friends at AT&T say that vulnerability management is the process of identifying, categorizing, prioritizing, and resolving vulnerabilities in operating systems, enterprise applications, whether in cloud or on-premises, browsers and end-user applications, an ongoing process Vulnerability management seeks to continually identify vulnerabilities that can be remediated through patching and configuration of security settings. Ah, that is a really good definition. Thank you to my good friends over at AT&T. Now let me explain to you why this is so powerful, guys. This is so powerful. The reason why, every company that has systems applications needs vulnerability management. So I read you the definition, but let me break it down in simple, in simple terms. Vulnerability management is finding issues in operating systems and applications, and then giving that information over to the people that need to fix it. Oftentimes, you are not going to be the person that finds a vulnerability and fixes it. There's separation of duties. If you had the same person finding and fixing the vulnerabilities, who would audit their work? It's easy to say, oh, I fixed that, I got it done, wrong happens all the time and that's why you see big breaches. So what we wanna do is focus our efforts and energy in somewhere where we know we're going to be needed long term. This is where a lot of IT professionals go wrong. They focus on areas of IT that don't have high impact and are not needed, needed long term. Tech support, help desk stuff, all that stuff can be outsourced in no time. But every company must have vulnerability management for the protection of their reputation, for contracts, for legal reasons, regulatory reasons, compliance reasons, they have to have it. And so what we can do is we can learn these skills 
so that we can add values to companies and immediately come in and start adding impact. So there's a few different roles that you can have inside of vulnerability management that we're gonna discuss here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you about three different roles in vulnerability management and then I'm gonna show you exactly where to get the training and how to leverage it to start your career, all right? So the first role that we have is the vulnerability scanner operator. And this is a semi-technical role, but the, the point of this is, so there, there's a couple ways. Number one, you could actually end up at an organization that already has a scanner in place. You don't need to configure it. You just need to run the scans. Essentially what you would be doing is plugging IP addresses or systems into a tool that's called a vulnerability scanner, which runs around, it crawls around systems and applications and it looks for vulnerabilities. And how it does this is, it looks for signatures and application versions and it compares it to what's called a vulnerability management database. And if there's any hits on that, it's gonna give you a report back that says high, medium, low criticality, these items need to be configured. When you're working as a vulnerability scanner operator, your responsibility is just to run the scans to make sure that they run successfully, they don't time out, they don't fail, you scan all of the inventory, and then you provide the data over to the next role that I'm getting ready to talk about, which is the security analyst. The security analyst is going to take this data, they're gonna analyze this data, and they're gonna work with different teams and business units to come up with a plan to determine how they can remediate the issue. Oftentimes, when a vulnerability is found through a vulnerability scanner, such as Koala's Guard or Tenable, uh, Rapid7, one of those things, like there's numerous vulnerability scanners, what they'll do is they'll say, here's the vulnerability, here's the score of this vulnerability, and here is the recommended fix. Now they're giving you a black and white out of the box, here's a fix, whether that's installing a patch, changing the configuration, or updating the firmware. Sometimes depending on how complex the organization is or how stable it is, or even the technical team, they may not be able to implement it. This is where the security analyst is going to review the vulnerability and make a decision or at least make a recommendation on how the vulnerability should be addressed. Because truth be told, every vulnerability cannot be remediated. Now, if you wanna go far in your career, you need to understand that. Vulnerabilities need to be addressed every vulnerability cannot be remediated. When I say address, that means that you need to put some type of control in place so in the event that that vulnerability is exploited, meaning if a hacker took advantage of what that um, vulnerability would allow them to do, you would minimize the impact. You can't fix everything, it's not your job. You need to minimize risk. Okay, so we talked about the vulnerability scanner operator and we talked about the security analyst. The third, part to this whole vulnerability management life cycle is actually the compliance analyst. And this is the, by far, the least technical of them all. Listen, this is the least technical of them all. So the first two, you're like, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. This is the one right here. So listen to me. The compliance analyst is gonna be a part of the IT compliance team, security team, IT assurance, governance, risk and compliance. All they're gonna do is they're gonna make sure that the scans were run on time because there's some requirements from different regulations that requires vulnerability scans to be run monthly, quarterly, weekly, right? So they're gonna make sure, number one, the scan was run on time. Number two, they're gonna make sure that the vulnerabilities that were discovered were actually addressed within the company's policies. So let's say that there was a critical vulnerability that was found and the company policy says that critical vulnerabilities need to be addressed within 30 days. They're gonna review the reports to make sure they were, or they were addressed within 30 days. If not, the compliance analyst is going to issue them a finding. So all the compliance analyst is doing is checking the work of the first two people. No tech skills required. Did you hear me? We're talking about six figure roles, no tech experience required. This is how you slide your way into IT security. Forget what everybody else is telling you. I'm giving you the truth for free. I'm not charging you. This is gold right here. Now that you understand these three roles, we're on the same page. Let me show you where and how you can get this training so that we can leverage these roles to move into cybersecurity in the next week.
All right guys, I'm probably gonna sound like a broken record with this one, but I only talk about what I've done and what's worked for me and what's worked for my students. We're talking about Qualys Guard Training. Qualys is an industry leader in cybersecurity tools and solutions, and they have a vulnerability scanning solution called Qualys Guard that is in most of the Fortune 500 companies in the world, which means there are plenty of opportunities for you. And the cool thing about Qualys is they are not stingy with their training. They want everybody to understand how to use their platform so that companies have knowledgeable employees and staff that can run the vulnerability scanners to reduce the risk. So if you go over to Qualys' website, which is www.qualys.com forward slash training, you'll actually see that they offer VMDR training, which is vulnerability management. Are you ready? for this, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Okay, so I'm here on Qualys' website. So you can create an account for free. Now they might ask for a work email. If you don't have a work email to provide, just go to godaddy.com and buy a 99 cent domain, create an email account that comes with the domain for free and register for your Qualys account. You're gonna need that. By the way, when you are creating this domain, if you are not currently employed, create that domain name to the name of what you want your company to be, because we're actually gonna use this for work experience when you make this transition. Follow me, I'm going somewhere, all right? So you come in to the um, Qualys platform, you register for your account, your account and then you start here, vulnerability management foundations. You want to get this foundation down packed. Go through this training and then you want to move on to vulnerability management, detection and response. Very, very important. And then vulnerability management here. And after you do that, go over, yeah, you can skip four, go over to scanning strategies, reporting strategies and patch management. This is going to be super, super important, especially if you want to be a scanner operator or if you want to be a security analyst. Now, if you want to take it a step further and you want to move on to the more, to the less technical side, then these two down here are going to be your bread and butter. PCI compliance. It's gonna show you how you can work within the PCI DSS framework using the vulnerability scanner so that you can assess the work of the other vulnerability analysts that are doing the work. Very, very important. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to go through this training. Now, I want you to hear what I'm saying when I say I want you to go through this training. So um, go through this training, get an understanding. The cool thing about this is once you complete it, there's a test. Once you pass the test, you'll actually get a certification that will designate you as a Qualys Guard Certified Specialist. Woo, certifications. The certification is pointless if you don't know what the hell you are doing. All right, so I'm saying that you can get this done in a week. You can, you can actually complete this vulnerability training in 24 hours, but it's more important, it's not as important to complete the training, it's more important to understand. So when you're going through this training, be sure to take notes, get an understanding, and even reflect back on things that you've done in the past to see the commonality so that you can speak to these things during the job interview. But this Qualys Guard training is what's gonna help you take your career to the next level. So now let me show you how you're gonna leverage this after you finish this training. All right, Cyber Heroes, I've given you enough so far that you can get started and get to work. I was gonna go through and show you how to rework your resume and how to leverage this in a job interview, but I'm gonna do it in part two of the video because what I want you to do is go do the training and then when you come back to this, this next video next week, I'm gonna show you exactly how to put it all together so you can land that six-figure role. Now what's then really important that you take the training seriously to understand what's going on, not just to try to pass an exam, but to, uh, but to understand what risk companies face and how the skills that you're gonna learn in the training are actually gonna help you minimize those risks because companies hire people that bring value and you wanna show your value by understanding your understanding of the actual business side of this whole vulnerability management cybersecurity thing. And you'll be able to get that through the Qualys training. So do it, it's really, really important. Hey, cyber heroes, we made it to the end and now you got some work to do. So question for you, were you aware of the three different vulnerability management positions? Were you aware of vulnerability scanners? Is this new to you? Let me know in the comments, let me know what you learned. 
also, I want to invite you to my private community, private Facebook community of cyber heroes just like you on this journey to become cybersecurity specialists and earn six figures and beyond. If you want to join me and the others on this journey, all you have to do is just join the Facebook group, the IT Authority. It's by invitation only, and I'm inviting you. You can click the link in my description to get access to it. My team will get you approved, and we even have a nice gift waiting for you on the inside when you join. Before you head over to the group, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a heart if you love what's going on here so that I can continue to pump out this message to help you upgrade your career. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I drop new content to help you take your career to the next level and come back next week because we're gonna dive into my six figure resume formula and how to ace an interview with the skills that you learned from the vulnerability management training. You don't wanna miss it. Well, Cyber Heroes, that's all for now, and I'll see you next week when you come back as a certified Qualis Guard Specialist.